Hello everyone, this is Chef Rochelle. We all know we need to eat more produce, but sometimes it's easier to grab those chips or those cookies for yourself or your family. Well, I want to share with you some private chef secrets that I've learned that'll not only save you time and money, but will make those vegetables just as easy to grab as those chips. These are secrets that I learned as a private chef for a family, as well as here as the chef for Florida Builder Appliances. So I often see people at home storing their produce right in the plastic bag. The produce just turns to mush and it's really hard to find in the drawer. Or else they'll take one carrot out at a time, wash and prep that. Let me show you how to save a lot of time and energy. So you start by removing all of the ties or rubber bands, swish the produce in lukewarm water, drain it in a colander and then put it on your drying tray and finally into your produce bin. So for leafy greens I'm just going to stem them. I'll save the stem and I'll put this right into the bin. Then you can slice them up and add them to salads, soups, everything. For peppers, I'm just going to take the planks off and that, in essence, seeds the pepper. And then these planks go right in here for whenever I want to cook. Today's refrigerators not only have moisture control drawers, but often have temperature control bins such as the KitchenAid, and even drawers that you can set for specific food types as in the Mila. In this Sub-Zero, your food is going to last up to three times longer. Now, whether you do or don't have such top-notch refrigeration, these steps will help a great deal. So I par-cook some of the vegetables in salted boiling water for easy cooking and snacking, and then put into an ice bath for quick cooling and then you can separate them into small reusable containers for lunches or easy snacks. So here you have plenty of fruits and vegetables for snacking and cooking. For more tips, recipes and videos, log on to chefrochelleboucher.com.